My name is Sidel Manenmar and you're watching my search for me. Today we're going to move on to the final part of the interview with Khalid Heray from Insider Internet Success. In the previous two videos we talked about um, his road to success. Uh, we talked about um, yeah, the business that he has and uh, some of the principles that you need in order to be successful why clarity is so important and in this final part we're going to be talking about Kavit himself, uh, his beliefs about life, what is important, the things that he's most uh, proud of and um, he will be uh, talking about his role models in life but also he will be sharing his advice when it comes to finding your life mission, your passion in life and what it is that you can do um, to find it and to uh, start working on it and to making it real. So again, a very inspirational interview of a very inspirational guy. So uh, please uh, have a lot of fun and do share with me your insights, comments or anything else you would like to share about this interview below this video or go to the Facebook page My Search For Me and enjoy the interview, enjoy the final part. So we heard quite a lot about you, your background, uh, your current business. So now I would like to move on to a little bit more about you as a person. So not, not so much about what you do, but who you are and your beliefs and everything else. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple of uh, open questions and just answer what comes up to mind. Yeah. The big one, yeah, yeah, but okay. Um, so what are some of the achievements that you are most proud of? Oh, wow, <laughs> you can name one, or yeah, two. sure, I mean, sure, sure. Be one. Um, I'm proud that I have been open to all of these ideas from a younger age. Like, for the last 15 years, I have uh, been in front of the ideas that helped me make me a better person. I'm very grateful for that. And I think that it's not an opportunity that a lot of people get, but uh, I've been able to grasp that. And those have made me more aware of myself, more better of, as, as to who I am. But I think even better than that, it's focused me on taking action. Okay. Like from a young age, I've been less, less about, there, it's very easy to, and I see this a lot, it's very easy to be motivated, but not take action. Yeah. And I've been fortunate to be the one that says, I'm going to take action on this right away. And usually, very quickly, I'll take action. I believe in the concept of the speed of implementation. The, the moment you get an idea and you implement it, you're far ahead than if you didn't implement it. Like, the, the longer you leave it, the longer your, the lesser your results are. Yeah. Um, so that's been one big uh, highlight, I guess. And also, from, a, from another perspective, to be able to build a business that is helping people. Like, to wake up and see the results that people are getting every month whether it's musicians or it's business people, to see people quitting their jobs and running their online business, yeah. to see people saying that I've tired of my 60 hour a week career mm. and now I'm selling stuff online, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be able to travel. Yeah. To hear stories of people leaving massive corporate jobs and actually spending the time on their business, a few hours here and there, a day, but then using the rest of the time to do things that are really truly meaningful for them. Yeah. And there are so many success stories that we write about that are on our website that people can look at. That those things are the things that excite me. Yeah. Those it makes me come alive, okay, and uh, yeah. that I think is big achievement. Yeah, now I can imagine that gives you a lot of energy when yeah. you hear those stories that you really have made an impact on their lives with what you've learned over years. Absolutely, and what you're absolutely. Them. And all I, I've always fun. believed that the, that uh, the greatest entrepreneur is the greatest student. Yeah. Like he never stops learning. Uh, humility is his greatest virtue. Mm. There is no way that he can be as good as other people think he is. He always believes that there's a way to go. Yeah. And therefore he takes his partners, his business partners, his family, his clients, his, his students, whatever it is, to be his teachers, yeah. to be his method of learning. So I always try to get as much as I can from my clients as well. Yeah, excellent. A never ending process, I exactly. guess. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay, uh, what was one of the most defining moments in your life? Imagine again, there are lots, but perhaps when it comes to your career and how you started. Yeah, so I'm a I'm a spiritual person in the sense that I I have a spiritual teacher. Okay. I follow the Jain the Jain tradition. Okay. It's different from Hinduism. It's different from Buddhism. Yeah. Uh, the Jain tradition is about finding the inner genius within you, 
It's about unlocking the truth that is within you, the soul, the source, the purpose of who you are within you. And uh, it's all about being able to be centered so that when you're centered and silent and quiet within you, you can find that happiness, okay. that permanent jewel that's there, that's constantly shining and happy, that's giving light to the entire world. Mm. And when I found my spiritual teacher in 2010 and decided that I'm going to follow everything that he says, uh, I'm going to follow his teachings, his methods, his ideas, his strategies, uh, his process for meditation, everything. Yeah. So that if I can follow all the things that he has done and he is saying, then maybe one day I'll be like him. And so that was the biggest defining moment. It then allowed myself to learn the things that hopefully and I'm trying to bring into my every part of my life. Yeah. So from my business, my career, my relationships, my fitness, my work, everything. Okay. And these are practices for becoming a better human being. These are practices for developing the right virtues, uh, de de developing the right qualities and characteristics, and trying to let go of the negative traits that we all build up as we go. Yeah. And this is really about me about my introspection, about my analysis. Yeah. And I believe that if I can do that, if I can become that better person, if I can become the, the greatest that I can become, then maybe somebody else will benefit from it too. Wow. But I will definitely benefit from it. Beautiful, yeah. very nice, yeah. Um, yeah, well, actually you already answered that question, I think. My next question would have been, who has your, been your role mo model or your teacher in your yeah. life? Yeah, I have many, I have many teachers, but it, uh, of course I put this teacher at the very top. Yeah. Um, he, he lives in India okay. and uh, he runs a, uh, a spiritual ashram yeah. where uh, we go, my wife and I, we go to meditate there. Okay. Uh, we, that's where we learn our practice. Mm. We try to visit uh, two to three months of the year, every year there. Okay, um, quite a lot. And generally during the winter we stay there for three months. Oh wow. Uh, but Apart from that pursuit, which although it's focused on spirituality, I believe that spirituality is your life, as yeah. opposed to a compartment of your life. Yeah. I have other teachers, of course, are role models, inspirations that I look to, that I read from, that I watch on YouTube perhaps, that I'll meet if I can in person. Um, and these are people that, I think that teachers come from all walks of life. Every book is a teacher, every, every writer, depending on who they are, can touch you in different ways. Yeah. And so long as you can retain that information, and then act on it, they're your teachers. Yeah, that's yeah. the most important one, the acting part. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so can you name a couple of those teachers? Um, just sure, I, I, from, a, from a, the last few years, I've been following Dr. John Demartini. Okay. Uh, yeah. He wrote a great book called How to Make One Hell of a Profit and Still Get to Heaven. And okay. uh, oh, I wow. think it's, it's really nice. It's very focused on the, it's, it's, it's part spiritual, I think, but it's also part business related. Yeah. So I like that very much. Uh, Robin Sharma writes some yeah. great stuff and speaks some great stuff and has a lot of great energy. Yeah. Uh, nice. So his stuff is really useful as well for people to check out. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. Um, what is the biggest thing you have learned in life to date? What is the biggest thing that I've learned in life to date? And I think again it would be relevant to like business or. Yeah. Sure. With regards to business. Yeah. yeah sure. People buy, I think this, this would have to be it, I think. People buy not what you're selling, they buy the result that you're going to give them. Okay. Like that, that is the first thing. And the second thing is that everything that you do has to align with that person's need and challenge. Yeah. So we just go through those. The first one is, like if you're creating stuff, you're writing social media posts, blog posts, articles, videos, if you're creating products and services and they don't 100% line up to that person's need or challenge or pain or struggle, Mm -hmm. They're not going to buy it. Mm -hmm. They have to be very critical about that. So many people create products because they want them, not because it's a specific need. So yeah. many people create products because it boosts their ego or they feel good about themselves. They might not admit it, but within them somewhere there's that, oh, this is great, I'm creating this, this is worth what I, what I want to create. Yeah. What I want to create is, might not be what that person wants. Yeah. And if I'm in the world of serving somebody, if I'm in the world of making it my pur purpose to make somebody else happy and gift them that, then I've got to give them something that is exactly what they want. Um, that's the first thing. And then the second thing would have to be about, um, once you know that, then what are you going to market to them? What are you going to sell to them? A lot of people say, hey, I'm running coaching sessions, come and buy my coaching sessions. But 100,000 coaches are doing that. Hmm. What's the difference? Um, people, fitness trainers will be like, I can be your personal trainer. I can go find out of 100,000 people, how do I select which one is the right personal trainer? Yeah. Uh, the same for anybody, whether you're an author or you're an expert in in cooking, you're an expert in dancing, you're an expert in singing, you're an expert in, in anything. Yeah. 
yeah. law, accounting, whatever it is. People don't buy all those services. What they buy is the outcome that they're going to get that they want from it. Yeah. So a dance teacher is going to make you, within eight weeks, a prolific dancer of salsa. Yeah. I'm going to buy that. I'm not going to buy salsa dancing. Okay. I'm not going to buy um, a set of knives and then a book that shows me how to cut, knife, how to cut properly with knives. Mm -hmm. I'm, going to be, I'm going to buy a process that is going to make me an expert knife cutter. Yeah. Like my skills are going to be extremely good. That's what I want to be promised. And so when you promise that, per so of course you have to deliver it. Of course you have to have a good product. Those are conditions that are way before this. Yeah. But you have to be selling to them the outcome, the result, the, the true goal that they want to achieve. Yeah. The, 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 the massive change that will come in their life as a result of consuming this product. And if you do that, then I think your marketing will work very easily. Okay. And so those are two, two really big lessons that I've gained and, and keep in the front of my mind all the time. Yeah. Excellent, and yeah, I, I can imagine, because people indeed think like that, what type of problem is going to solve for me? Yes. They really focus on me. Yeah. And uh, finding out those needs, that's probably also, I can imagine also a bit of a challenge, because like you mentioned, you have so many coaches, and what's so different about you as a coach? Yeah. And how can you help me differently than your neighbor? Exactly. And, but exactly. really focusing on that, and having a very clear answer, yeah. again, the clarity yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, understanding your client in combination with that probably will be likely that they will want to do Absolutely. business with you. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. No, Fantastic. We could be talking for hours and I would like to know so much more, but we have to move on. Uh, looking at your future, I mean, you already achieved quite a lot of really nice achievement, things that you can be really proud of, I think. Uh, what are some of your future plans? Uh, you mentioned something about a book, but yeah, sure. Else. So I definitely want to write my first book, uh, published, and then I have ideas for further ones after that. Okay. So I want to get into a pattern of writing a book a year, maybe yeah. for the next few years. Um, I want to be able to use that book to reach more people. I think there are so many people that have the. My vision is that entrepreneurs are the only people that can change the world, mm. like. Politician is great, but a politician creates division. A politician has to have, when you get elected to be the president you, or the prime minister of this country, for example, yeah. you still, you might have all these goals and dreams that you want to make, but you still have to fight against another opposition before they even make it to law. True. It takes time for that to happen. Yeah. And those are things that are happening on a massive level, but on the real world scale of problems that people face on a day-to-day -day basis, the people that create the solutions for those are the entrepreneurs. They're the people that take the solution to the market and the world. Mm. And the entrepreneur has a team, has a family, and has clients, and has staff. Yeah. When the entrepreneur does something really good, he's impacting his team and staff, his clients, and his family, and all of their families. Yeah. That's essentially a small community of people. Wow. And when every entrepreneur does that, and when every entrepreneur is compelled to do that truly in the best way they can, I think the world changes. Yeah. In small ways, small shifts, it changes. Uh, perhaps for future generations, but something that we can start right now. Yeah. And so I'm very much uh, looking for ways to reach more people. And if the book is going to do that, then that would be great. And uh, um, I'm sure there will be other opportunities for that as well. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that I have in mind is a way to do that for the developing countries. Because okay. a lot of people that I work with, everybody that I work with is essentially uh, well-earned. Like they've had great careers, they, they have a lot of money to invest in their business, they're doing well. But there's passion, there's purpose, there's requirement, and there's dedication for people that can't afford it in developing countries. Yeah. In villages somewhere around the world where all, if all they did was make it a little bit of money, their family would be in a better place. Yeah. I think those are the people that need the education. That's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Great, so um, to uh, end the session, I still have a couple of open questions for you. Sure. So now really, the first thing that comes to okay, mind, okay. <laughs> my life purpose is? To help more people take their message to the world. Very nice. Life is all about? Fun, peace, and happiness. Happiness is? I think happiness is a state, but I think happiness is doing what you want to be doing, when you want to be doing it in the moment. Yeah. And the biggest misunderstanding is? The biggest misunderstanding? Yeah, in general. Oh, in general? The biggest misunderstanding? Oh, that uh, this is it. The biggest misunderstanding is that I feel like I'm giving my all. Oh, 
Okay. So the biggest misunderstanding is that I feel like I'm hitting my, my peak. Because mm -hmm. the moment you feel like you're hitting your peak, you're not really hitting your peak. Mm. Like, if in order for you to understand that you're hitting your peak right now, I feel like you haven't yet realized that you have within you unlimited potential. Yeah. If, if your potential is truly unlimited, unboundless, how can there be a limit to it? It's always next level. Yeah, and it comes from building muscle. Like when you build muscle, you, you reach a particular point. But obviously, if you did one more work for it, you'd build more muscle. Yeah. And we see proof of that in, in bodybuilders and, and weightlifters and so forth. Yeah. And so the biggest misunderstanding is that I think you're not hitting your potential when you think you're hitting your potential. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very, <laughs> very nice. Um, of course, this whole video, uh, all these videos are about the search for yourself yes. and finding your own talent and being able to share that with the world. What would your advi advice be to others who are still in search of that? What could they start by doing? Sure, sure. I think that um, the, first, the first thing is that we all have a lot of different ideas about things that we're good at. We have lots of different areas of expertise. And we have lots of things that we've done so far in our life that we found useful, mm -hmm. that others, others could learn from. Yeah. And True. if life is not about learning and sharing, then I don't know what it's about. And ultimately, that's what business is about. I mean, yeah. Business is really about transferring value from one person to another person, or one company to another company, or one brand to another brand. Yeah. And so let's not think about business right now in the context of corporate sharing and all those things. Let's just think about it. What have I got to share with somebody else? And which, you know, which one of those things excites me a lot? And I think if you can find something that you have to share and it excites you, then you have a good combination there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very it doesn't nice. have to be perfect also. That's the other thing about fear, right? Like we talked about. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you just start sharing with a few people, see what they say, see what they're saying, and launch something. Yeah. A blog, a website, a, a, an email newsletter, a Facebook page. If it doesn't work, there'll be other things that show up. But when you start, the right things show up at the right time. Yeah. If it's a different direction, it's a different direction. If it's the same direction, it's the same direction. Yeah. Just being able to take that first step. Yeah, because exactly. it all starts with first exactly. step anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. So we learned quite a lot about you, the business that you have. If people want to find out more about your company or want to get in touch with you, sure, sure. where could they go? Yeah, so the first place is the website, uh, www.insiderinternetsuccess.com. Yeah. Uh, and uh, at the website, the best thing to look for is all the case studies because they're inspiration more than anything else. Okay. I send people there to look at the inspiration of what other people just like you and me are doing mm -hmm. uh, with their businesses, with their passions and their ideas. Yeah. So those that are searching for purposes will find some inspiration there. And then the second place, of course, is to come to my Facebook. Okay. I have a Facebook page and I write and share on there as well. Yeah. And when you go to the website, you'll have the opportunity, if you want to, to talk to a business coach for 30 minutes. Okay. And the business coach will give you guidance and advice on your ideas to make them more sound and secure yeah. uh, so that you feel more confident and you have that clarity. So to help you find that clarity and confidence, you can get a 30 minute session. It's absolutely free, by the way, for okay. this show. So you can go to the website, click on it, book a session, it's 30 minutes, and you'll talk to our business coach and get some insights from them. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, thank you so much for your time today. I thought it was very, very valuable. There are so many great advices in this interview. So uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for calling. Wow, Capita Rey, such an inspiring guy. Um, yeah, I personally um, was very excited uh, during the interview, but also after the interview, because I felt that I had learned so much from this uh, yeah, amazing, inspiring guy. He really knows what he's talking about when it comes to building an online business, when it comes to following your heart, following your passion and really creating a beautiful life, the life of your dreams uh, with that particular passion. So um, yeah, he shared with us his advice when it comes to finding your life mission and, and um, yeah, following your passion. Uh, Kavit's advice is um, find something that really excites you, that you're passionate about and start sharing the knowledge, the expertise you have about that specific topic and I thought that was a really good advice and he also said, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect uh, from the start, you know, you don't um, have to have the five year plan and know exactly what you're going to do uh, of course, you do need that clarity, um, but um, perhaps the most important thing is just to get started, just to start working on the dream, start building that business and you will see 
that along the way the right things will show up in your life. Um, yeah, I had the same with this YouTube channel. I started it about six months ago and uh, when I look back and see how far I've come and everything that has happened since then, I'm so excited and I can't wait to see what more will come uh, along the way. Um, so yeah, a wonderful interview. Uh, so like I said, if you want to learn more about his business and what he does, go to InsiderInternetSuccess.com or go to his Facebook page, Kapit Harai. I will also publish it uh, here below the video. Um, and please do share your comments or share this video, this interview with others. Um, yeah, I, I think it will be great if we can do more sharing about inspiring things, uh, inspiring topics. Um, yeah, it will, it will give a lot of positive energy in the world around us. So uh, that's only very beautiful. Next week I have a very special lady that I've interviewed also in London when I was there in uh, uh, July, I believe, uh, last summer. Um, yeah, she has a very inspiring uh, story to tell, uh, to share with us. So I'm excited about sharing it with you guys. So please do stay tuned, be well in the meantime, and I hope to talk to you guys very, very soon. Take care.